Hello everyone, my name is Maya and we are here at the Hudson River National Estuarine Research Reserve and I work for the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. So we're out here on this beautiful spring day uh, on the Hudson River and I know that many of you are um, learning from home um, and so we are going to provide some amazing distance learning opportunities for you so you can still see what's out here alive on the river. So we've chosen two of our very favorite fish today um, for you to learn about at home. And we're gonna look at some of the amazing adaptations that fish have to um, have on their bodies to go through all the extreme living circumstances that they have had over, um, over their evolutionary lives. So here are the two fish that I'm gonna introduce you to today. One of the ways that we're able to tell what kind of fish we have is by using something called a dichotomous key. A dichotomous key helps us go adaptation by adaptation through all of the physical features of the fish to figure out what species it is. And you may have a guess right now of what you think it is, which is great, but keep that guess in mind because um, this one can be deceiving. Now that you've pulled up the Clearwater Fish Key app, take a minute and go through and see if you can identify what species we have here. All right, this beautiful little flatfish is called a hog choker. It's one of um, the most common fish that we find in the Hudson River. And you can see one of the, the kind of bizarre adaptations that it has is that it's flat. And it actually lives along the bottom of the river like this to avoid predators. You can see that it would be really hard for another fish or a bird or some kind of predator to bite it when it's carpeting the bottom of the, the river like that. What's really unique about hog chokers is that when they're juveniles, they do swim upright like other fish. And then one of the adaptations they have is to lie down flat on their side. But as you can imagine, that would leave one eye up in the water and one eye down in the mud. And so it actually migrates the one eyeball through its brain, through its head. It pops it on the other side of its head so that it can lie down flat and have two eyeballs looking up into the water column. Kind of crazy. All right, and this fish here, if you identified it as a bullhead, then you're right. Where a lot of fish have a forked tail, uh, like this, and that's how catfish look. Now a bullhead, it has a blunt tail, a rounded tail on the end, which is one of the ways you can tell the difference between them. So one thing that makes catfish and bullhead similar are these crazy barbels, or the whiskers that they have on their faces. These are used for a number of different things. It's an adaptation for um, sensing um, space around it, but it also has um, sensory uh, organs on the tips of it that can allow it to either smell or taste the things that are around it. Well, thank you all for joining us today to look at these two of our favorite fish. Again, we have a bullhead and a little hog choker in here. Um, and these are two of the most common fish that we find um, when we go fishing here at Nori Point and many other places on the Hudson River that have really incredible adaptations. Their bodies are very different. Um, and they have found really interesting ways of making their living in a really challenging environment. All right, everybody, we'll see you again soon. We'll be doing a lot more uh, distance learning from here at Nori Point with lots more fish, birds, turtles, and other fun things to come. So uh, thank you all, and I hope you all are healthy and safe at home.